Hello guys and welcome to The Forest. The Forest, if you don't know, is a survival game. The way you start off, it's very well thought. You know, you're in a you're in a plane, it's quite a common thing. <clears throat> and you crash land on this thought to be abandoned or slash uninhabited island. Just so happens that there are natives here, such as the the one that you just saw take my son away. And the son is the um, the main story of this game. The, the objective is to find the son and bring him back home. Oh, not back home, but back to you. Okay, so you start off in the plane. Uh, you come outside and there's just a ton of suitcases all over the place. You may have seen them uh, f flying about all over uh, the ceiling of the plane when we were coming down to uh, crash land. I'm, I'm want my guy wants to hit that tree for some reason. No. Uh, come on. There you go. Okay, so... Yeah, the, the, the start uh, where the plane would crash is randomly generated. Which is pretty cool. That's quite a good uh, feature uh, to the game. At least I think so. If you want, you can just keep restarting your game until you get a good spawn. A spawn that you want to play in. But I'm just going to stick with this one instead of constantly restarting my game. Uh, anything else? Anyway, any suitcases I may have missed? There probably is, but we're, we're just going to ignore that. And we're just going to keep going. And we're going to try and find C. I think I do see C over the horizon. Oh. We found the yacht, brilliant. That's a really good start. Okay. Let's just uh, go over to this yacht and see what's on it. Because I suspect there are going to be some goodies. Yacht. Summer edition. Huh. Oh, I just picked up a human head. A skull. Missing boy. So, what's the story of that? Maybe they came here looking for the boy. Oh, that one didn't even come up. <laughs> maybe, maybe they came here looking for the boy and they got taken by the natives, maybe? I don't know, but that's all for us to find out. So here's the save mechanism, we're just going to save real quick, we're going to take the second slot because I've got another save that I don't want to delete because that's not too far in, but it's a little, it's a little bad, yeah, it's a little bad. Let's see if that teddy bear's bad, uh, still there. Nope, there's a rope, which is good enough for me. Okay, now that we're done with the yacht, let's go back to shore and let's get on with the base building. Right, so, uh, these are all the contents, you got the basic survival stuff. Uh, so shelter, I got hunting shelter, fire, let's go into the main construction area. So the fires, you got fire, basic fire, standing fire, bonfire, fire pit. The thing about the basic fire is after you're done with it, it disappears. Standing fire, I'm not sure. I think that just stays there. Bonfire, a long lasting fire, so it's like that, but it just long lasts longer and the fire pit always stays there, but you have to constantly relight it. All these cabins and stuff, we're just gonna build a small cabin. So, I guess I'll just put it in between these two sharks. 
There we go. So the way it works is it just it just starts off as like these little blurred out areas that you can walk through. But as you can see in the bottom in the red, it says zero out of thirteen and has the icon of a log, so I need to find the logs and build them and what makes that easier is the log sled which takes 21 sticks to build so we're just going to take that right up to the forest and we're going to get some sticks just add that on Still need more logs. Where were they sticks? There they are. Let's make sure I'm not picking up stones. I picked up a rose stone. Off we go back to the sled and done. So now we, we, uh, what we can do is go over here, start chopping down the tree. Simple as that takes up my stamina as well chopping down trees so make sure you're chopping it down in a tree because the natives usually only come out at night there will still be the odd few that come out but there's usually not many until night time there was one time I think I've got a picture of it on my steam uh, on my other save when I came out at night and there were literally about 30 natives outside waiting for me to come outside so that they could kill me. Because the cool thing about the buildings is that when you go inside them, they don't come in, they can't walk in. Because it said that we, need, uh, we needed 13 logs. So, oh fucking hell, a seagull just flew past my face. How many logs did- yeah, 13, so it'll be one full sled and then we'll have to come back for one more tree. So I think we're it's full now actually. I think I can fit one more, but I'm not going to bother. So let's just go. It's pretty good with terrain this. Don't have to go through every single rock, past every rock I mean. Because you can just go through them. <laughs> on top of them. You can still walk through this until it's complete. So you can see I can still walk through. Let's go get that final log. Also make sure you don't hit the buildings because that will damage them. finish this little building. There we go. Right. So now, let's just walk in and you can save, you can sleep, you can do all that good stuff. So we're just going to save right here. In case I die. We're going to check out the other building stuff we can do. Got a log holder, stick holder, which these will be very useful. So I'm actually going to put down a stick holder. I'll just put that in like right there. No. Rotate it all the way around. Okay. There you go. Just go and get more, more stacks for a special occasion. And what I want to do is I want to. really tells you when this game's based uh Rick Gold strength, ability and wisdom. <laughs> okay, 
why have I got the stick? You can make uh, spears and stuff on a stick, so it's not only just useful for the base building. You can make like bows and arrows and armor and everything. Stuff that you can uh, equip to your player. So there's a, a lot more in the game than just the base building and its form. Okay. Right. It's getting dark, so... You can go out and equip the lighter, but... We're not gonna bother. We're just gonna go in. And save. And is that a stick I saw on the ground? No, apparently not. Let's see if we can find any natives. I mean, not that I want to, but... Be good to show. I like to fight out in the open. I don't like fighting in the... in the forests, because then they're more hidden than me. There they are. You hear, you hear that? Native, somewhere. Up there, probably. There they are. Come here. I'm just gonna fight them straight up. Come here, female. Whoa, crawler. <laughs> Fuck. I can't even hit him. He's like way up behind me. Go restore air and your energy. Run! This one isn't a crawler. He's just a runner. I can hear him running. Yeah, he's a crawler. Why am I just swinging randomly? I'm not even coordinating crawlers right they don't just like crawl about they crawl to run I feel like he's a way to tell his friends I'm away I'm away because that's happened before like I'll be in a battle and one of them just runs away and they come back with a whole pack so I'm just gonna go back to base sometimes you don't even need to go out Oh, actually, most of the time, you don't actually need to go out uh, searching for them, because they're constantly roaming. So they'll probably come to you. How about you, Turtle Man? You want to be my friend? Thanks, Turtle Man. You can be my friend. <laughs> you, you, you can be my friend. Look, look how happy he is. Look how happy he is. He's so happy to be my friend. Come on, let's go back to camp. I don't even have a fire, but it's home. Where do I even keep him? Where can I keep him? I can't keep him anywhere. Uh, what is it to make... I'll just leave him there for a bit. What is it to make a... Storage. Storage, small cabinet. Which is six logs. I can't afford that. I don't even know if I can actually put the guy on there. But we'll try. We'll try, goddammit. Because... Uh, what, actually, what are we going to call this guy, right? We're going to call him... Michelangelo. Yes, yeah, we're going to call him Michelangelo. Um, I'm just going to leave him here. 
And if he if he disappears again, I can just like edit that out and kill another turtle and pretend that it never happened. Oh god, I'm inside it. Right. Two more. There we go. Right, so where's... Oh, for god's sake. So, Michelangelo, hi! I'm glad to see that you're okay and you totally didn't disappear. So, you, you wanna sit down? Can I? Can I? Please? Please? No? I, I guess I'll just put booze there now. Well. Sham things. Are you serious? That's quite sham. No, they're making... They're making me have to get rid of Michelangelo. I don't like it. Light's coming up, so... Got a lot done this this episode, you know? Looted a lot of crates, killed a woman. Oh. Not done yet. Oh, no. I still don't know the patterns for PvP. Right. I don't need any more friends. I've already got these two sharks guarding my house. Can I get on this roof? <laughs> there we go. Right. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. The sharks like boost me up onto the roof. Alright, let's uh let's save from here. Okay, I guess that's a good place to end it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like, leave a, a comment. So, thank you for watching and goodbye.